Hey guys, so today we're gonna do a hot pot. So I figured I'd share with you how we do hot pot at home. So for those of you who don't know what hot pot is, hot pot is a Chinese or an Asian type of fondue where you cook your food in a broth. And it's typically thinly sliced meat, vegetables, uh, stuff like tofu, um, fish, it could be all kinds of different things. They even have uh, stuff like Spam or luncheon meat that uh, people like to cook in it, wontons, anything that you can imagine. So anyways, I'm going to share what we do at home. Um, you can do this out at a restaurant as well and it's really fun, it's very communal, um, it's tasty, it's savory, it's just really really great. I really really like it. So at home what I use is I have this pot here that's in the shape of a yin and a yang and you can have half a hot like a spicy broth and then a half just a you know normal mild broth and that way people can pick and choose which one they like if people don't like spice they can use the other one so it's a very communal meal and sharing and people can cook whatever they want in it as well all right so i'm going to prepare this and then just have a meal all right let's get to it all right so for hot pot i've already showed you the pot to use this one here which looks like a yin and a yang half and half um, the seasoning so the soup base i like using this type here there's all kinds you could use this one is Little Sheep, by the Little Sheep guy here, and it's actually called Little Sheep. And incidentally, this is actually a franchise around the world. Uh, I've had it overseas in Japan, I've had it in Toronto, Ottawa. Um, if you see this uh, this sheep symbol um, for Hot Pot, that's that's a Hot Pot, uh, Hot Pot franchise, and it's really good. I really like it. So anyways, you can have it at home. They sell the seasoning, so this is the the incidentally the hot one but then there's also this one here this is the plain soup base I'm not quite sure what the plain one is I think it might be pork based I'm not sure but anyways the ingredients well don't look at the ingredients basically it's mostly monosodium glutamate uh, glutamate um, MSG so but anyways don't fear the MSG and hey I'm not eating this for health I'm eating it for taste so we got the two types, so this is why the half and half. And there's also other types of soup bases, like I got this one here to try, this is another type. But today, I'm gonna use the Little Sheep. But this is a, a Dalongyi Hot Pot Seasoning, semi-solid compound seasoning. Uh, yeah, anyways, let the world fall in love with Shendu. So this one is a little bit more, I think, Northern China type of hot pot, but hot pot's found all around China and other Asian countries. Okay, so we have water in here. We have a little bit of oil already because I already started, but I'm gonna show you what else goes in it. So this package here isn't open, but I got one already open. So to the soup base, first I'm gonna throw a slice of ginger in each one. I'm gonna throw maybe, I don't know, maybe six or seven cloves of garlic on one side. And do the same on the other side. And then, in the seasoning package, we have a few things. We have these hot chilies, I believe, for this is the spicy one. I'm gonna open this guy up. I'm gonna make this side spicy. So I'm gonna add about half of it, because I usually split one of these packages into two servings. So, because then I have plain on one side and spicy on the other side. It comes with a pack of hot oil, so I'll add that here in a second and some black beans. Open that. And this incidentally, um, I'm gonna split the package between the two because the plain one comes with it as well. So I'm gonna put a little bit on this side, a little bit on that side. And then I'm gonna put the spicy seasoning in it. I'm gonna split this one in about half, roughly. On this side, I already added the oil. And then for the plain side, so we're gonna open the plain package up and add about half of that. This stuff is super salty, so you don't need a lot of it. And this one comes with these little red goji berries, I think they call them, or some type of berry, these little red things here. 
So I add those in here. So I find the spicy mixture isn't quite spicy enough. So I like adding a couple more chilies to it. These are some bird's eye chilies, tied bird's eye chilies. And I just like cutting them and just adding them right in. And the last thing to add is some scallions. I'm just gonna chop a bit into it. So over here we have the induction cooker. I used to use a butane, little butane camping stove, but this works much better. These are mini chicken and cilantro wontons from, of all places, Costco. And then you can buy this pre-cut shaved meat that's nice and round, nice little rolls from, say, an Asian grocery. Um, look around and you can buy it. Don't buy the cheap fondue meat from the grocery store. That stuff's no good, that stuff's crap. Get the good stuff, this stuff here. This is beef, and then this stuff here is lamb. So we're gonna dish that up and we're gonna eat. Okay, let's do a run over of what we got on the table. This here is watercress. This here is yu choy, or also called choy sum. This is Shanghai, no, this is regular baby bok choy. We got some beef, our hot pot obviously. I have a ramen noodle thingy that I'm going to cook in it, in the soup. Silken tofu. This is lamb. It's, uh, cilantro and chicken Costco wontons, of all things. Uh, this is, what is this? Iceberg lettuce. This is Chinese broccoli, also called gailan. And this here is Shanghai bok choy. Okay. Let's eat. Dinner's ready. Dinner's ready. I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to eat now. All right, I'm stuffed. And that's how you do hot pot at home. So, you did an all right job, I think. Yeah. All right. Bye.